for the Interabang, I'm Kate Otterbein. After one whole year of refurbishing the Holy Roller, it is finally back at its home in Victoria Park. May 31st, 2022 marks the day of its return, a feeling that's very bittersweet for the crew that worked on it. It had its highs and lows, its good and bads like any project, but you know, sitting at the end, I think we all agree, it's like, it's, it's great that it's over, and it's sad that it's over. You know, because, you know, it's, it's, it's a great project to have worked on, you know, good people. Like, we never had arguments on the team. It was amazing. Like, there were disagreements, and it was all handled all, like, yeah, okay, we'll try this, we we'll try that. It's like, so anybody who took part in the preservation process should be very proud of what they've done. The Holy Roller was only one of two tanks to survive the Second World War in Canada's Army. This is a significant feat because over 300 Canadian Army tanks were lost. Now it sits in Victoria Park as a symbol of freedom for all veterans. For the Interabang, I'm Kate Otterbein. Holy Roller!